want to get clipped by that Nair and then take 60 for it. Yep. Although, Castellia still gets hit by Nair a lot in this matchup. It's it's like his one Achilles heel, pretty much, when playing Wario in this matchup. And let's see if Explody Pan can catch on to that and mm. exploit it. Yeah, it does make sense. Wario being a character that likes controlling the airspace using that high air acceleration and airspeed. Great combo here. Big damage. It doesn't get anything to follow up off the drag down. Keeps it going, though. Well, it depends. Really catching up on these uh, shielding habits coming out from Castellia. Castellia's probably going to need to play a little more aggressive or a little more movement based if he doesn't want to keep getting grabbed like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you either got to get in his opponent head or don't let him touch you. Let's see which route he chooses. I don't know if Explody Pan meant to do that to damage the bike. And oh, that's a big Ooh. cover. No jump here on Castellia. Makes it back safely. Just to make it down. Back throw isn't going to take it, but this bike is going to make things a lot harder there for Gaselia. Oh, that's that it. bike's going to take it. Yeah, with no bike option, not too many ways he can get back to stage. Mm -hmm. Now, Exploded Pan sitting not too bad. Uh, this first stock here, only 90%. Uh, something like Wario back here is now going to start killing the ledge. Down tilt. Uh, dash attack's probably going to start killing. And Castellia's racking up this damage real fast. Let's see... Oh, this is... Uh -oh. You're just, oh, oh, the recovery past smart. ledge? That was so smart. I think Castellia timed it wrong, but that was that was super clean from Explody Pan. It's also mm -hmm. really tight to do that and not kill yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm almost tempted to just clip that. <laughs> <laughs> but that down tilt dash attack is just barely going to take it there from Explody Pan. But still, 64% here on Castellia going into the second stock. Explody Pan's not looking it too shabby. Yeah. However, the yellow man is flashing yellow. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> almost a free stock, some may say. Yep. Good. If you're green, yep. I was going to say good <laughs> confirm there. This has been a little bit of pressure coming out from Explody Pan. It seemed like he was picking up pretty well if that Castelli wanted to come in at like that little bit less than a 45 degree angle. Uh, Explody Pan started throwing up his uh, forward air, his back air, discouraging it. See how Castelli adapts. Castelli right now looking for this waft confirm, or maybe just anything to start a combo here. Castelli really does like holding on to waft for last stock, but in a situation like this, I think even Castelli lets it rip, especially if you land at the wrong spot. <laughs> okay, that back throw's taking it. Yeah. So yeah, even game here. Even just for the mental, I think it would make sense to get it now, make this game even again. See what he goes for. Oh, big combo coming out here from Explody Pan. However, all that damage right now is Ooh. just I thought, rage. I thought that was going to be the loft. Trying to catch the air dodge onto the platform. Not quite. That shield's looking a little low from Castellia. Explody Pan can definitely uh, push their advantage here. Explody mm -hmm. Pan just playing it real safe. Not letting Castellia get anything started waft-wise. But that... One mistake yep. is all it takes. That'll do it. 101% though on Castellia. Let's see how much he can catch up here. Mm. Castellia is, you know, just one of those players that locks it in here this last stock. And already 51%. Half that deficit made up, but don't get hit by back air. Gonna get a little bit of healing and a little bit of damage. A lot of bit of damage. That move does so much. <laughs> it does like 10. <laughs> right. That's actually not a ton. But Castellia has already almost evened up this game. Mm. Well, at 10, then add how much he heals. Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> Dash attack is going to make it all but even here, and Castellia all of a sudden is looking in control of this match, catching Explody Pan in his shield. There's a big chance, great awareness, get out of the way. Oh, that Ooh. bite just might take it. Oh, there's zero mash coming out from Explody Pan. Oh, he is no. all DIing right now, and it's not going to work out for him. Game one going to Castellia in a heck of a comeback. Yeah, fantastic play. Way to keep his cool. Find the openings that he needs. All right. It seems like I've got this curse where whoever I clip when they make an early kill, they ain't winning. <laughs> they ain't winning that game. <laughs> yeah, very, very tight game one. Definitely interested to see how both players react. That's right, Green. And we are moving on here to Explody Pan's home. Castelli's like, Kalos, though. I could play DVD and live to 300. Right. 
but opts to stick with the Wario. These lack of platforms here in the center are going to make comboing a little hard for Castellia, but at the same sense, it's going to be really hard for uh, Explodipan to avoid this pressure. Mm -hmm. And also, I feel these platforms here on the side are so good for edge guarding Palutena. It's just that little lift that you need to really just go out there and punish her. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't yeah. matter if you don't get hit right now. 75% unanswered on the board and counting here from Explodipan. Yeah, Explodipan was doing such a good job of keeping that advantage state going. Quick uh, combo there from Castellia. Bringing it a little bit back, but... Yeah, Castellia's found that bite and it is putting in work green. Yeah, it's, it seems like once either player gets into advantage, they are staying in advantage for quite some time. Mm, very well played. Oh, falling right into that explosive flame. Gonna be trying to find a way back here. That clap's gonna get Castellia in advantage here, but that explosive... Really? Really good placement here uh, on the explosive flames from Explodipan. Mm -hmm. uh, what he's doing is he's using them to, like, kind of diffuse uh, advantage states. That is something I'm going to try to take for my play. Going deep. Yeah, good capitalization by Explodey Pan taking his turn. Can't quite end it. Not, I'm sure not going to do it. <laughs> with the bad DI coming out from <laughs> Castellia. Yeah, Explodey Pan's not letting you get away with that twice. <laughs> mm -hmm. The Castellia up smash. A patent right there. Really high percent here on Palutena. 143, that's the Kalos. Mm. But even still, something like an F-Tilt could uh, close things out here for Castellia. Oh, cross stage. High enough percent. From downtown Buenos Dias, Mandy. And we are here into the second stock, and Castellia is cooking up one heck of a combo. That's all it takes, and Castellia is back in this and looking for these fallen up airs. He want he smells blood in the water. Yeah, almost had the read roll the other way. Castellia really trying to keep him going here. Ooh, big air dodge force there, and Castellia just can't make it back in time. A little bit of a panic option there, but good on Explody Pan to get something moving here. Yeah, and that first stock. Living for so long from Explody Pan is really helping him out this game. Castellia going for the nair instead of the down air, which is a little surprising to me, but so far working out, keeping this advantage safe. There's that down air. Yeah, time it to that time. It sends you down so fast, dude. Right? <laughs> <laughs> for all the moves that aren't actually spikes that spike you somehow are so scary. <laughs> like, I'm surprised Explody Pan nearly made that back. <laughs> right. But. Even game here, but the Wario's got the waft, so is it really even? No, this is this is in Castellia's advantage. Exploding Pan wants to end this game on this interaction. Absolutely, and we've seen Castellia make these comebacks once before. If you're Exploding Pan, you've just got to tighten it up. Don't let Castellia take an inch here. Oh, Exploding Pan getting a little antsy there, trying uh -oh. to exploit. Oh, oh he was looking. Big grab coming out here from Exploded Pan. Not going to kill, but Castellia's got to burn this bike. That down tilt does not catch Wario. It does not catch Wario. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I've tried. Oh, that condom still. Castellia. Oh, big, that big be, yep. coverage coming out there from Explody Pan. Very nice. Puts down that explosive flame so that Castellia can't go left and catches Castellia going right. Using, actually, that Kalos platform to his advantage. Mm -hmm. Caught and Castellia trying to weave. And Castellia with no chance to use Waft there. That is the danger of waiting to try to use it for last stock. If you don't get it, that's it's almost such a waste of one of your best resources. Mm -hmm. And I mean, Castellia had that since stock one and just couldn't find the time to let it rip. Mm -hmm. But now we are on Castellia's counter pick, and I hit the transition right as I was looking to see it. And we are playing DDD, so I bet we're going to town. <laughs> that would make sense. That or maybe a run in the back. Going oh, to PS2. PS2. 
Castellia Fields, Explodey Pan's got that adaptation on the Wario. And even just game three situation, comfort pick. Yeah, this EDD is definitely uh, on the rise recently. Uh, big showing at AGN, uh, taking sets off of San. So, Castelli has definitely kind of regained some of that lost confidence in DDD, which is always good to see. Yeah, even when there. someone is truly passionate about a character, you can always tell, mm -hmm. even if they're not necessarily like high up on the tier list. But everyone's viable. This is ultimate. I noticed this early t earlier today. Why does T DDD Tech Roll go like a mile? Right? <laughs> Please, it's rolling. Oh, tries to get the grab there on the ledge trap, but Explody Pan's turning it around here. Destelia bats Explody off of the ledge, threatening with that up air, but still cannot make it back. That up air is going to at least poke him. No up smash today. Yeah, keeping him moving for a little bit longer. Explodey Pan's picking some really good positioning to not get hit by these uh, landing Gordos from Caselia. But not quite punishing yet. Oh, oh that was so smart. It would have reflected Gordo no matter what. Castellia trying to bat his way out of the corner with all these Gordos. That grab ain't gonna lead to nothing. Not in this patch. Castellia looking for a little, little Gouda. Explodey Pen is playing so well around these Gordos, mm. like you were saying. They're almost a non-factor. Eric is punished for getting a little aggressive. Castelli is with a ledge trap. Castelli is looking for these bears, throwing out all these kill options. Down tilt's gonna spark, but not do it. Oh! <laughs> Calls out the spot dodge, but gets shield up in time. Regrab here from Castelli, not gonna be punished. Another regrab coming out. Exploded Pan's playing really patient here. <laughs> but the last thing you want to do as Exploded Pan is let Castellia get away with this stock. Because then you are facing a DDD with 178 rage, 191 rage, full rage on deck here. Yeah, this is a scary spot to be in. Because you are not trying to die below 100 next stock. This back throw That's up. Oh, okay. The DI mix up. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? I don't press up throw enough to know what angle it sends at, but I thought it was just 90. <laughs> oh, does it? I thought you um, you would hold out for up throw. Maybe, who knows? Either way, Explody Pan putting on big hurt. Already 55 on this Castellia stock. And now, oh, tries to read that air dodge. Just lets it rip a little too soon. This back throw still ain't going to take it. Already four minutes on the clock here. This game is threatening a timer. Yeah, it's looking like it. However, Explody Pan, I don't. Has Explody Pan gotten hit this stock yet? Yes, he, he got put yeah, off stage. Yeah, it was the. Oh, yeah, Ledge Trap. But still, Explody Pan has already put on 100 to this DDD and is working and getting more green. Yeah, Castell is just not able to find his way in. Because it really is up to Explody Pan to be the one to approach. I do not think Castell wants to, and Explody Pan's okay with that. Finds another stock. Big stock coming out there from Explody Pan. Three stocks to one. castellia has got a mountain to climb, but we've seen him get up to that summit once before. Let's see if he can do it here in this game three like he did in game one. That yeah. finds an air. An air is going to be the first step. 40. All right, 43. Not bad at all. Oh, the little high Gordo uh, definitely messing with Explody Pan's shield. No! Oh my god, it almost had the double read. Oh, the reverse Nair gonna be coming out, getting Explody Pan some positioning and some damage here. Explody Pan staying aggressive. Whiffs that grab, Castellia, Lud Trap. The oh. Jet Hammer's gonna catch the teleport, but not a lot of damage because not a lot of charge. Castellia is starting to catch on to these explosive flames, and Exploit Pan's starting to be a little too aggressive on them. Mm -hmm. Let's hopefully, let's hope that doesn't come back to bite them later on this set, this game. Yeah, I think it was working out earlier, but Castellia is making some fantastic adaptations. Exploit Pan just a little bit behind. You can definitely see Exploit Pan feeling the pressure here, just mm -hmm. picking and choosing there his options, but it does not matter. Game three going to Exploit Pan with the big upset. I really hope I made a replay from this game. Well, 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 there's Wario. 
What even? What was this clip? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good set. <laughs> I should have just.